Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about prime factorization. Let's dig in. Easy math with Miss Season. Easy math with Miss Season. Easy math with Miss Easy. Okay, so first let's talk about the vocabulary. So we have the word prime and we have factorization. And so the first thing I think about is just what is a prime number? All right, a lot of you are probably remembering from last year that a prime number is a number with only two factors, one and itself. And then the word factorization makes me think of the word factor. So what is a factor? Okay, you got it. It's numbers that you multiply to get a certain number. So the factors of six are the numbers that you can multiply that equal six. So like one times six, two times three, those are the factors. So we're gonna be working with prime numbers and factors as we do prime factorization. Okay, so I think the best way to teach this is by something called a factor tree. So it's just a method of taking a number and breaking it down into factors that are prime. So I'll show you an example of what I mean. Okay, so let's make a factor tree with the number 12. That's just kind of an easy place to start. So the way you start is 12 is at the top of the tree and you make branches. And down here, we're gonna put two factors that equal 12. So can you think of two factors that equal 12. Okay, you might have said 2 times 6, or you might have said 3 times 4. Actually, either way can work. So, and I'll show you that. So now I start thinking about which of my factors are prime and which is composite. So let's take a look. What is 2? Okay, you got it, it's prime. So I like to circle. When I see a prime number, I circle it. And the reason why is because we, we really don't need to break that number apart anymore. Because if it's prime, it can only be broken up into one in itself. And we don't wanna have to, look, we'd have to keep going forever and ever if we were doing that. So we stop with prime numbers. Stop that branch. Okay, now let's take a look at six. Is six prime or composite? You got it, it's composite. So I can break that number apart again. Any composite number I can break up into more factors. So what are two factors that equal six? Oh, you got it, two times three. Now let's check. I knew two was prime here, so it's also prime here. And what about the number three? You got it, it's prime. Okay, so now I am done because I have a factor tree with all prime numbers. So it's called prime factorization. And every number can actually be written as the product of primes. So I'll show you what I mean. I could write this as two times two times three, and it all equals 12. And if you want to, you know, if you're not sure if that's true, if you're not sure if you believe me, you can always test it out. What is two times two? You got it, four. Four times three is 12, so it works out. Okay, now let's try breaking apart the number 12 a little differently. So, you know, some people might not think of two times six first. They might have thought of three times four first. And so then you would say, okay, three is prime, and then four is composite, so I can break it up into, you got it, two times two, and twos are prime. So now we can kind of compare. Does it have the same primes? Yes, it does. It's maybe in a different order. But let's check. What's three times two? 
six and then six times two is 12. So no matter how I start breaking it apart, you're always going to end up with the same primes that you can multiply and get your original number. Okay, let's take a look at these two numbers. Let's make a factor tree for each of these. So 21 can be broken up into what factors? What can you think of for 21? Yep, we got three times seven. And let's think this through. So we know three is prime because we just talked about it on the last number. What do you think about seven? Oh, you got it. It's only factors are one in itself. So seven is prime. So that means that was a pretty small factor tree because it really just had those two primes. And then of course we know 21 has one times 21, um, but we don't put those in a factor tree because if we did, let me show you with this one. If we did, we would just be repeating ourselves so much because look, one times 32, one, we don't wanna do that. That would be silly. So that one is just a small factor tree. So we can say that 21 is just three times seven. It's the product of these two primes. Okay, let's try 32. What are two numbers, two factors that equal 32? Okay, I'm thinking of four times eight. And it's okay if you thought of something different. Yours might look a little different than mine from what you're thinking, but we're, I bet we'll end up with the same primes. Okay, then we look at four, and we know it's composite because of one times four and two times two. Okay, and then how about eight? How can we break up eight? Okay, you got it, two times four, and then four once again, Ooh, lots of twos here. So look, we've got all these primes. Okay, so we have two, two times two times two. So five of them times two times two, and that equals 32. And we're gonna learn a lot more about exponents in the next lesson, but I did wanna go ahead and mention that if you have two times two times two times two times two, there is a more simple way of writing that. Instead, we can write it as two to the fifth power. So that is the same as writing out two times two times two times two times two. It's kind of like an abbreviation. But we'll dig a lot more into exponents on the next lesson. All right, now here's two more numbers to make a factor tree for. What I want you to do is pause the video, make your factor trees, and then we'll come back and check your work. Okay, let's check your work. So I'm seeing with 24, I see two times two times two times three. And with 36, I'm seeing two times two times three times three. Okay, great work. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.